welcome to day three of Love Summer Art. Today I am going to do something that I normally don't do and that's leave as much white as I can. Um, I'm hosting a challenge uh, for our journey and um, the challenge is to leave 50% of your project white. So um, uh, I thought I'm going to do an art journal page and uh, try and keep it as white as I can. Um, so I decided on these um, beautiful tissue papers and watercolor is the main medium today and distress inks and I am just uh, drawing some lines as you can see on my page uh, right in the middle of the page and I'm splattering with the same water brush as well and uh, then I am using two stamp sheets that's the tulip one and the birds garden birds one and I love this stamp that comes with the tulips because it has a very fine script and I am using uh, the tumbled glass the sponge sugar and the pumice stone to stamp that script on my page then I use um, I think it's dried marigold to stamp the tulip and then I go in and glue the tissue paper down on the paper. And uh, I love that very thin tissue paper a lot. You know this is difficult for me. Leaving as much white as I can. It's just not that easy if you uh, are used to full on color and covering the whole page and but I'm doing the best I can um, using the glass bead gel uh, that I haven't used often I thought it would fit the page and I really wanted more texture on the on the page this is a water coloring book for adults this is not a paper that's suitable for watercolor but we make it work as we do everything in our crafts so um, I am um, coloring those swirls, I'm going to call them swirls, and uh, in the same colors, and you see it, the paint is sucked right into the paper, but uh, I do like the way it looked in the end. So uh, here I am arranging those swirls. There are more on the page than I will use in the end but uh, you'll see you just have to try out this is bird one and by saying one that implies that I got more and yes I got more so bluebird is exit I thought he would fit on the page but he didn't so I didn't throw him out but uh, didn't use it Um, then I'm inking up the swirls with a dry marigold as well and glue the swirls down on the paper. And aren't you proud of me that I am staying in the middle of the page and it's looking well, kind of nice. I had a, a bit of a problem with that ink but I just used some water to make it look like it was supposed to be there. Then I am using a bit of pumice stone to connect um, those uh, left and right parts and do a little bit of shading. And you see that I uh, am connecting every uh, page, uh, piece of those um, uh, swirls. Um, and then I am using this um, very fine marker it's water soluble so um, that means that I can't go in with water anymore and uh, this is it for now and then I wanted more texture the glass bead gel has dried but I thought I had this um, embroidery thread lying around and uh, so I split it I think this is uh, these are three strands I think yeah So I'm um, gluing it down just. And this is bird number two. This is a yellow bird. And I didn't like that one as well. No. 
So I'm going in with the same stamp that I used all the way in the beginning, that little script stamp, and I use pumice stone to um, stamp it again because the spun sugar one got lost underneath all those uh, swirls and thingies. So I'm just stamping it on the left and on the right side of the paper edge uh, as well. And then I go in with this Prima background stamp and stamping with tumble glass just to give it a bit more interest. And no, I'm not going any further than this. <laughs> uh, this is a caterpillar stamp that comes with the tulip collection and um, I used it to give it a bit of a decorative edge in the sponge sugar color. It's very subtle everything so and then I decided on bird number three and he is going to be gray this was a little test run because I made some spray for with hickory smoke and um, I really like that color I just put a little bit of mica powder in it to make it a little shiny and um, you see that I am trying to place my little bird somewhere so uh, this took me so much time to decide where to put it <laughs> so I left it in just for you to see how many places I have put the bird on the page so um, and you might think that I decided where to put it because I'm inking up the ed edges but no I still haven't decided and I'm gonna tell you when I now I decided yes that's the place you can see it I just drop it down and I think now I'm gonna take the glue and I'm just gonna glue it down oh, really and then I thought Ugh, gray dull so using a Posca pen and light the whole, whole bird up a bit That's, I think, the main part, that you've got a lot of things done and you don't know when to quit. So I keep going in with all these little tiny details, really. And then I decided uh, white, grey, not good, so use yellow and blue. So this was a... a now the only thing I thought I needed to do was just doodle a little bit and I made these little tiny swirls to um, go with the swirls that I cut out of that coloring book. So uh, and just uh, scribbling on that bird as I did the, the tulip. Oh by the way I colored the tulip a little bit with the spiced marmalade. And uh, then I'm almost done I think. I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do next, but uh, let's see. No, oh yeah, put the sentiment down. That was um, s uh, something magical. Now, just a few pictures for you to see, and uh, I hope you join me on tomorrow's. It's the last day of that Love Summer Art, and uh, then I will see you on a regular basis. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a nice evening.